Do you honor God with your life, with your talent, with your, with your treasure, with your time? Welcome to today's direct. We're looking at check your choices. Deuteronomy 30 verse 19. I call heaven and earth as witnesses today against you that have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life that both you and your descendant may live. So today we want to look at Abel and Cain. So we we'll see these two siblings, uh, they were confronted with a choice to honor or dishonor God. So we saw Abel honoring God with his offering. Why Cain dishonored God with his own offering? It's just a matter of choice. Do you honor God with your life, with your talent, with your, with your treasure, with your time? It is a choice to honor God. You know, the word honor means valuable, precious, esteem, to have regard, respect. And honor can be displayed in action, word, and even thought. Cain dishonored God with his sacrifice. It's like the people of Nazareth, you know, they withheld their honor from Jesus in Mark 6, 3 to 5. You see what? The hometown folks did not treat him as valuable and precious. They did not recognize him as one divinely sent to them to fulfill God's will. So it's a matter of choice. In Genesis 4, 3 to 5, the Bible says, and in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought an offering of the fruit of the ground to the Lord. Abel also brought of the firstborn of his flock and of their fat. And the Lord respected Abel and his offering, but he did not respect Cain and his offering. And Cain was very angry and his countenance fell. It's also a matter of choice to be angry or to show love or to control your emotion. So to honor God is a matter of action. It's to reference God in your worship, in your giving. You know, it's to honor God from your heart. In Isaiah 29 verse 13 says, Therefore the Lord said, Inasmuch as these people draw near with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear towards me is taught by the commandment of me. Of of me. God honors those who honor him. In 1 Samuel 2 30. Therefore the Lord God of Israel says, I said indeed that your house and the house of your father will walk before me forever. But now the Lord says, far be it from me. For those who honor me, I will honor. And those who despise me shall be lightly esteemed. So it's a matter of choice to honor God. God bless.